What does an American icon and the richest man in ancient Rome have in common? I'll tell you. But what do they have in common with us? That answer is easy. They did it all for the gram. Boom. Marcus Licinius Crassus and Norma Jean Baker, aka Marilyn Monroe. The both of them died untimely deaths. May even so while doing it for the gram. Both are history's totemic figures or symbols of a paradise lost. Crassus to the last days of the Roman Republic and Monroe to the classical age of the 1950s Hollywood scene. After Crassus came Caesar. After Monroe came, well... More actresses, fresh off the casting couch. About that, Monroe was smart and a fighter, just as Crassus, insofar as her understanding of the dynamics of the world and her ability to exert herself in it. She distinguished herself as an early feminist standing up to the 20th century Fox, using her big break in Fox's blockbuster as leverage to a higher salary and say in her future films. Crassus was smart in the backing of the right Roman general, leading him to exorbitant wealth. Following a swift whacking of all Sola's past political foes and the theft of all their property, of course. His scaling up the Roman cursus honorum was smart, too. It leveraged his placement to the first triumvirate, which maybe wasn't too smart considering how it went in the end, but hey. She likely died of too many barbiturates going down her throat after being a decade-strong, top-billed actress, her death leaving a surplus of conspiracy theories in her wake. Crassus died with molten gold poured down his throat to punish his renowned greed. <laughs> His death, leaving his legionary forces captured or dead too, civil war in Rome to come, and Rome being humiliated and demoralized, with several of her legionary eagle battle standards captured, which to an American would be like having her declaration of independence stolen pretty much. Oh yeah, and it said they used his head and hands in some of their plays later. All that after invading Parthia without any justifiable pretext or approval from the Senate. In short, Crassus went all Leroy Jenkins and paid for it, first with his wealth and later with his life. Leroy Jenkins! She still has pop cultural traction to this day. He is still the Roman who crucified 6,000 captured slaves along a 120-mile stretch of road between Rome and Capua. Monroe died just as her proverbial Hollywood trajectory was finishing its arc. Through that trajectory, her close photographer friend wrote Monroe had had a dozen abortions along the way. And why? Same reason as Crassus. The Graham.